we are at the start of mid-war. And you're going to see that our decisions are a little bit heavier. It's going to take us a little bit longer on our turn. It's enough talk to battle! How lucky are you that you happen to have a warrior card there? So that's just going to make it that much harder for me to try to take that location, yep. isn't it? <laughs> He's very healthy. Okay, so let's see. Well, I've got a lot of great cards in my hand. Um, I don't have any uh, that I can actually use to... Uh, I don't have any that I can deploy, though. That's the bad part. So let's see what I got here. Um, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead. My Winter Guard conscripts, conscripts. I'm going to go ahead and use his ability. I'm going to go ahead and discard this conscription basic resource card and I'm gonna rush him up to this location over here yes I am going to chicken out on that one and just end up letting her have that sometimes that's not a bad thing to just let your opponent have it because they're gonna lose those cards and uh, you know you're like whatever hey whatever <laughs> <laughs> alright so I was hoping that a card with war was going to turn over for me. Unfortunately, it did not. Um, okay, well, let's see. Three. Oh, man, I really could use cards with war. This really, really stinks. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and discard that card. And I'm going to replace... I'm going to refresh this one. Oh, my goodness. And I get more of this stupid stuff. Okay. Man, I'm, I'm in the same situation you were in the last turn, is that I've got all these great cards that I could use for war, but unfortunately, it's not going to do me a lick of good if I can never get cards that I can purchase with war. And I don't think that's going to help me either. I thought I would just point out... Um... Tim said, you know, you lose these cards when you gain a location. So sometimes it's smart, if you can, to rush a card. Even if you have a card in your hand, you can play. Because then you're not going to be losing as many cards from your hand, uh, right. from your deck. Well, there we go. I finally got a card that required war, which is a Juggernaut. And he's a big, bad uh, boy. No! Unfortunately, I can't rush him, though. That's the sad part. So ha -ha. I can only purchase him. Um, I would have been able to rush him if I didn't have to discard so many cards, but oh well. Okay, so I'm going to bank this one. I want to draw, which I can only draw two, which means now I get to cull a card from my discard pile. Shuffle these up, and then I'll draw the rest of them, the other four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Now that will officially end my turn, which means, Carmen, it is the beginning of your turn. Congratulations. Yay, me. <laughs> Yay, you. Uh, yeah, there was just nothing I was going to be able to do about that. So they go to my Occupying Forces. And that is yours. And Congratulations. Goes to my discard pile. We will flip over the next one, which is called Mid Fast. And uh, it's worth six victory points. And it says when you discard this card for resources, you can discard one card to draw one card. Nice. So, hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. So now it's your decision. You're going to go for this one or you're going to beat up on my single <laughs> conscription? <laughs> Come on. Look. He's not doing it. <laughs> He's just over here minding his own. I know what I have to do. No, I you just have don't. to beat him up. I'm, you know, I if do. I could have gotten war cards out, I would have been like, you know, all piled up there. But <laughs> it just wasn't a good draw for me, unfortunately. Okay, so I think I'm gonna you leave me put alone. This guy out <laughs> over here. It's worth six victory points. But it's worth six! <laughs> You're awful. I never leave you alone. Okay. okay, so he cost me two to deploy. You're awful. Um, and then I think I'm going to rush this guy, because I do happen to have eight war right here. Oh my gosh! You're awful! Um, Look, you could have had two cards over there. Yeah, so my ironclad's going to go up here also. And we'll see what else I can do. Yeah, whatever. Nothing. You cannot do nothing. Um, oh man. Yeah, that's what I'm I talking about. I can't even afford to buy that one now. That stinks. Okay, so I'll just discard this one. All right, Carmen, go ahead and go over your cards so you can commence with the slaughter. Uh, well, um, this guy has superior range, so he cannot be destroyed if there are any friendly cards without superior range at this location, so he's safe. Um, because Tim's not going to be able to destroy my ironclad. No. 
So he has one power. My ironclad has two power. That means I have three power, which destroys his Correct. winter guard. Because remember this round, the fresh recruit card said warrior cards gain plus one health this round. So my guy actually had three uh, health. Unfortunately, he's only got one power, which is not going to be enough to do any good. So once again, Carmen beats up on this lowly con conscript. Okay, so that ends that round. So we're going to go into round seven. Escalation. At the start of this round, draw one card. So I'm going to go ahead. You draw a card, and so do I. Ooh, I drew a good one, too. All right, so let's see what I can do about this. No way can I let her have two bases in a row, can I? Or can I? I don't know. We're going to see it. Uh, let's see. Um, doo -doo 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 hmm. Well, I would really like to do something about that, but at the same time, I mean, there's an open location right here where six victory points, which is kind of nice. She's gonna lose all those. <laughs> so let's see if I can deploy anything out of my hand. I do have that. Okay, so let's see what I can do here. All right, Mr. Warjack Juggernaut. You cost me five war to deploy. So you have to uh, pay their purchase. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you have to pay their purchase cost again to be able to deploy them from your hand. So I'm going to pay the five. And I am going to deploy them right to there. And then I am going to. Let's see here. <coughs> Excuse me. Three, four, five, six, seven. I do have an awful lot. Let's do this. Let's go three. Actually, two. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Let me pull that up. So two, four, five, six. Yeah. So it's going to have to be three, four, five, six, uh, which is enough to rush this uh, Winter Guard Rocket Corp up to here. So let's go ahead and get rid of those. Flip over the next card. Ooh, man. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see. Fortunately, I can't get through that with one of my war casters because of that stupid superior range. I hate that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and discard a card. And I am going to get rid of this one and replace it with a new one. And then I am just going to go ahead and bank this card and draw six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, which will officially end my turn. So, Carmen, congratulations. There's another base for you. <laughs> Score one for the good guys. Would have fought over that, but I feel pretty secure with what I got going on here. In our new location, North Guard. Which says that uh, when you discard this card for resources, you can draw one card. So, yeah, kind we'll of the same effect. It around so that it's not upside down to the okay. camera. Okay. So, Let's see what you got over here. A lot. Um, you got six power. After you attack at this location, opponents with cards remaining at this location discard one card. Okay. If I have only warriors, you get minus one power on that mm -hmm. guy. Then you have ten health. I have a lot of health. So I would need to at least do four to do any good. Yeah. Okay. Or you could just go for that one. <laughs> nah. <laughs> um, I think I'll just see who all I can deploy and then decide what I'm going to go for. How's that? Mm-hmm. So I've got... Um, nine war in my hand that I can go ahead and rush this guy. That okay. way, I don't know where I'm going to rush him to yet. We'll just put him right there. Okay. He is a defender and has superior range. Okay, mm -hmm. so. So he's not going to do a lick of good by himself. No. So i got to see what else I can do. Wow, his health is so high, and he's got the superior range ability. That's kind of funny. I know. Right? It's like the superior range doesn't really do him any good. Um, I also have enough to rush this guy. Uh, so he would... That would only that would give you your four attack. That would give me my four attack. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. I could rush this guy, too. 
but he has superior range. So. Okay. So you have your defender, which is such a strange name for him, who has superior range with a two attack, six health. And then this trencher sharp shooter but team. But he's got superior range as well. Has superior range as well. So you, if you put them together, they they cancel each other out. So that's not good. Yeah. But he does have more power. It ain't gonna, um, that ain't gonna matter. Okay, I'm just making sure because I don't want to be caught by surprise. So I will rush that as well, which cost me five command. Okay, so you got one card left. I've got one card left, which means I could rush something over here if it, one of if your it would help casters? me any. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's see. Double the base power of one friendly Warjack card at Sloan's location. I would double his to four. Oh, that would give me four, five, six. I'd still only get one card. Um, well, and then he would get one plus one power. So it... Actually, that's enough then, ain't it? So that'd be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it is ten. Sounds good. Okay, so you did have the two water rush in, correct? Yes. All right, so you're going to come up here, obviously. So let's take our camera in and let's take a closer look at this battle. Okay, so um, my defender has two power and six health, and he cannot be destroyed if there are any friendly cards without superior range at this location. My trencher platoon has two power and three health. Uh, he has Dig In, which only applies if he's alone. Um, and then Captain Kara Sloan. Um, That's a girl. Yeah. <laughs> Friendly Warjack cards at this location gain plus one power. So that'll turn his power to three. And double the base power of one Friendly Warjack card at Sloan's location. So that would be his base power is two, so now he has a total of five power. Yes, so there's five, six, seven, eight... 9-10. Okay, so um, basically uh, there's no need for me to worry about reading the uh, abilities of either one of my cards because it will not be affect this outcome. Um, the 10 is enough to get through the health of both of my cards and destroy them both. I can attack back with 6 power though. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to just waste all of it on this guy because this I can't defeat him because there are other cards without superior range. So. I'm going to destroy this one here, and of course your Warcaster goes away, okay. and then both my cards will go so away. So my destroyed card is going to go in my discard pile, and my Warcaster um, goes to the Occupying Forces piles. Alright, so let's go ahead and begin Escalation. Again, draw one card at the start of the round. I'm going to have to shuffle. So, you have been just picking on me, and picking on me, and picking on me. I just, wow! You just will not leave me alone, will you? So you only have two attack there for that that guy, don't you? So let's see what I can do here. Okay, I do have them. I do have that. So let's see if I can deploy both of these. All right, so six. So he is two command. So I'll go ahead and... Oh, wait a minute, let's hang on to that one. Well, wait a minute. I think I have that with that one. Okay, so I'm going to discard this conscription, which will allow me to deploy the Cosite Woods, Woodsman Ambush Team. And uh, that means that I'm going to go into battle, obviously. And they do have an ability that says this card gains plus one power the turn you deploy it, so their power would go from one to two. All right, so let's see here. Six. There's six total war, and I'm going to be able to put my destroyer up there as well, um, which now will give me five total attack, and I need to get to six. I'm going to go ahead, I think, and uh, conscription. I'm going to discard this cons conscription basic resource, and... Thinking I might want to do that. Hang on, let me think about that for a second because four, five. Oh man, I am. Close.
close. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and put this guy, rush him up there as well. Flip over the next card. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. Darn, I'm one short from rushing that old boy. <clears throat> well, it looks like you got me. Well, I got you, but that's yeah. not good enough. I want to... Oh, you want to really pile it up so I can't get you again, huh? There you I go, because all you do is keep going after me. Okay, so let's see here. At the start of each player's attack, choose an opponent. Actually, yeah, oh, no, no, you don't have warrior cards. Never mind. Okay. <clears throat> so I have seven. Man, I'm so close to getting this guy. That really stinks. Okay, well, I'll just flat out buy him. So I'll discard those to buy that guy. Flip over card. Let me go ahead and draw six. Okay, so I have here, I have the Coast Sight Woodsman Ambush Team. And uh, they have the ability called Ambush, which says this card gains plus one power the turn you deploy it. So they will actually have two power. I have uh, the Winter Guard Conscripts, and he has one power, so that gives me three total power. And then I have my Destroyer, which has three power as well, which is plenty enough to get through your defense and destroy your defender. Mm -hmm. Now, he is destroyed. However, he does get to attack back, okay. and which means you can pick either one of these two characters. I would pick that one. You always beat him up. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so that will leave the these two here. Okay. And that will end that battle. Well, I'm kind of looking at, if I want to get this location, it's worth four victory points. Yeah. Or I could just buy three cards, and that gives me three victory points, and it helps build up my army. It does. Yeah. And that's, that's what you got to look at, because this guy is awfully strong, and for you to be able to just let him go away is yeah, kind of nice. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because I've already lost one of them, and that'll be my second one, and that's, yeah, that makes it tough. And that's all the decisions you weigh in. I mean, you get victory points from buying your cards or you go for the locations. And I actually was struggling with that same thing because I had a lot of cards here that are worth victory points that are worth two victory points. And I thought, man, I could just buy them suckers. So I could buy him with this card. And then I could buy one of those with five war. And that leaves me with enough command to buy that card, so... Okay, so you're going to buy your Minuteman, you're going to buy your Trencher Sharpshooter Team, and you're going to buy your Rail Shipment Resource. Yes. It's actually pretty cool. you got a lot of good stuff. Now, you could have bought them individually one at a time and re put new cards out. Yeah, you you're right. That, that would have made more sense. But, you know, it's probably not going to be that big of a deal. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Uh, yeah, I should have done that. I'm going to put that. So now you're going to go back. See, I, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> that's my own fault. I'll put this back. Okay. okay. And that's what I used to pay for it. So we will buy this guy first. Okay, so that will instantly replace. Oh, well, let's And that's worth two victory points instead of just one, if you would be able to afford it. Then. Oh, wow. Look at that. I can't afford it. See? Nice. So that'll give you the Stormblade Platoon, and you yes. just bought the Minutemen. That'll give you the Stormblade Platoon. Okay. Now replace that one. Now, see, that's why you do this in order instead yeah. of doing it the way Carmen just did. <laughs> because she was able to actually gain Got ahead of myself there. four victory points, which is the equivalent of this base that she could have tried to deploy to. Yeah, okay. See, there you go. Now, aren't you glad I'm around? All right, so go ahead and draw up. That will end this round, and we're going to go to the next. Coal shipment. The deploy purchase cost of all cards is decreased by one war. Nice. And uh, that does mean I win this location. These two cards will go to my occupying forces, and this one here will go to my discard, and we'll put out a new location. Oh, oh I want this one. The reason is is because it's uh, Volingrad, and it says if you are playing Kador, this card is worth plus one victory points. Which means I must not let him have it. I am Kador, so I would really like to try to get that mm. location if possible. So, let's see what we can do. Um, boop, 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 boop. Alright, so, this is going to be tough. Yeah, I didn't have a very good draw this turn, unfortunately. So, let me see. So, the deploy and purchase cost of all cards is decreased by one war. 
All right, so I'll do, go ahead and discard both of them two wars. And I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this Juggernaut and I'll replace that card. And let me see, I got, man. See, I got enough I could buy this Destroyer as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So there's two, four, five, and I'm gonna purchase that Destroyer. And that leaves me with one card and I'm just gonna bank it. So I'll go ahead and pass my turn over to you. Okay. I'm checking because I see this um, Stormblade platoon up there. I gotta make sure. Yeah, that's the one I just bought. Yeah. There's another one. Yay! Yeah, you, you flipped it okay. over right after you had bought them. So it's uh, kind of tempting to buy that because it's a really nice card to have and it's worth two victory points. I'm not in a rush to really do anything because Tim's. <laughs> Uh, that could change. Uh... I, don't, I don't like defending. I like attacking. <laughs> really? I don't think anybody's noticed no, that. No, they haven't noticed. My goodness. They haven't noticed. Well, the attacker does have the advantage. I mean, let's just face it, because you get to use your war casters to help. And I love that card so much. Ooh, but I could maybe rush it. Um, I need eight command. Yeah, I do like that. Stormblade platoon an awful lot. I could actually rush that one up there if I wanted to. Well, if you're going to do it, do it. Well, I've got to see if I can rush another card as well. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to have to take a chance here. Going to take a chance. So you're going to rush two cards. You're not going to take advantage of the coal shipment ability, huh? It's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I should just purchase it and just let it go for now. Well, I don't have any cards up here threatening it yet, so, you know, it, it's kind of... That's why I didn't feel the need to go up here and immediately, which it would have cost me more than to just go ahead and purchase the two cards that I did. Yeah, well, the problem was that... I didn't have two cards to rush. And right, and know, that's... I didn't know if that would change. That was my so, issue. I could have ru I could have put one card on a location, which means you would have just went up there and destroyed it, and then what's the purpose of that? I need to try to get two cards. Um, okay, so... This one's worth a victory point, but I, I end up with so many of these that the superior range cancels each other out, so it kind of stinks. Yeah, but you can also use him for the fact he has two war. Um, and this, though, is three war and a victory point. And don't forget, they cost one less war to purchase. Oh, yeah. So, we've got two, four, six, seven war, which would allow me to get two cards. Yay! No, you can't spit. You just remember, he would cost you one card with two war. Yeah, that's fine. Ta-da! Okay. Place that. Um, so I can um, of all cards, so I can do it again. Yeah. So there's four. Four war, and I will purchase the defender. The defender. So you banking that one? Um, I'm thinking. I really need to get rid of these. They're they're in my way. Yep. Okay. So. Um. Okay. So that will end your turn. So, inclement weather. Ugh, man. Oh, okay. I hate that. Inclement weather means that we're not going to be able to do much. And I hate this card. It's great when you have troops out here, but. Um, so it says, when deploying or rushing cards this turn, discard a card in addition to deploying the deploy or rush cost. cost. Blah, that card stinks. I hate it. So, which really stinks, because I probably could have done something, but... <sighs> Alright, well, let's see what's going on. And we just used our turn to purchase, too. That's what's funny. 
Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go four. Man, if I had used my turn to five, deploy, five six. Then yeah. this would have affected Tim. That yeah. would have been great. Seven eight. And I'm gonna go ahead and discard this card. And I want to go ahead and rush this card up to there. So I paid for it and I discarded. And so I put my demolisher, rush my demolisher up to there. Alright, now I'm going to go three, four, five. And I'm going to discard this card. And I'm going to rush my Widowmaker Sniper team up there as well. Now, this is a pretty awesome combo that I just deployed here. And the reason is, is because my Widowmaker Sniper team has superior range, which states that this card cannot be destroyed if there are any other friendly cards without superior range at this location. So, the reason that's cool is because the, my Demolisher has Armored Shell, which states that this card cannot attack the turn you deploy it. Okay, that's kind of naughty, but... It gains plus three health until your next turn. So, my Demolisher now has seven total health that she must try to get through to even try to get to my Widowmaker mm -hmm. Sniper team. That is almost pretty much guaranteed I'm going to keep this location given the fact that Inclement Weather is in effect as well. So Now, um... Is he not going to be able to attack me? No, he's not. Actually, that is on the FAQ that they had just okay. released. He cannot attack back until the beginning of my next turn. But just keep in mind, if you do try to rush a uh, Warcaster, that would still force you to discard a card as well. So. Ugh, yeah, that's yeah. tough. It's going to be real tough. I had a real good draw that turn, so that worked out perfect for me. So it is officially 100% your turn. All right. Well, I see. will enjoy my Volengard location <laughs> at the beginning of my next turn. Uh, you're gonna. You go ahead and go for Northgard. You leave uh -huh. Volengard for me. Well, let's see. Actually, if it's Volengard. Um, nine power. That would. That would take care of you. It's gonna be tough. This guy's got four. All so. <laughs> yeah. He's pretty cool. <laughs> you have to discard a card though too, in addition. Yeah, I know. So that guy could cost four war if I use him as well. Mm -hmm. So that would be six war and two cards to discard. Would give me so four, five, six, four cards. seven. That would give me seven. Boy, it's going to be hard to get nine. Whew. Oh, these two cards. Okay, right. I would have to discard one, so that would rush that one. That would rush... Discard that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm figuring it out. Um, that still wouldn't be enough. Because I'd, I'd be one card short because I'd have to discard. Yeah. Yeah, that stinks. Inclement weather rocks. Inclement weather stinks. All right. Well, you have this one here. North Guard, you can just get a character up to there if you want, though. Just yes, keep that in mind. I can. I just think that Volengrad is awfully defended. It's pretty well, and uh, mm -hmm. you're going to have a real hard time getting through this. So you should just give it up now and go for North Guard. This is a part of the game where the decisions become a little bit heavier and they take a bit more time to figure out. You're having to calculate your power versus your opponent's health. And at the same time, you're having to take account the Wind's War card. There's a location here that's got forces at, but this location over here is open. Tough decisions. So we got... So 
on this guy. Five more for him. Mm -hmm. so there's five more. And then I have to discard a card. Which stinks. Because then I can only deploy him by himself. What's the point of that? We'll just go in and destroy him. Not if a better location appears over here. I don't feel threatened by one character. I'm not like you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one character doesn't bother me in the slightest. Actually, I, I can deploy him for two and, and then, then discard a card. And I have to discard my Caspian Orders. Oh, which stinks. Oh, wow. That really stinks. Okay, so you're drawing up. That'll end your turn. All right, this is it. Late War. Okay, so that's going to conclude Mid War. And you'll see, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that really affect your game. I think that inclement weather card mm. came at a very bad time for me. I really think that probably cost me the game. Oddly enough, neither one of us had any units out on either one of the locations when inclement weather came about. And yet, both of us were still able to deploy two units each. However, one of my units was so powerful, yeah. given that he had the ability to increase his health to seven... That made it to where it was so difficult for you to try to overcome that. So I am going to capture the Volingrad location, which is going to give me seven points. That was a huge victory for me. It sure was. I don't think I can overcome that. Yeah, we'll find out, though. Part three will be up later this week, and that'll be the Late War. Now, Late War, the, the interesting thing about Late War is it can end at the flip of the first card. At any time. And it can end at the uh, flip of the fifth card. We have no idea. But you'll have to wait and see just when it ends and who ends up winning this game. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.